Hi, this is Yang Wang. You guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Yo-Yo Friends. And today we're gonna do a review on the MK1 Yo-Yo's HD. Now, HD is the signature Yo-Yo of my friend Cam Dog. His real name is Connor Sheehan, and congratulations for him to making to the U.S. National Finals this year. And I can't wait for him to do his thing at Worlds. That's coming soon too. So uh, he has a nickname called Ham Dog. I forgot why, but He's known for uh, being really good at yoing. Remember back in the skill days when he's yoing in front of a glass cabinet, very risky. And uh, yeah, and being a meme, but not anymore. I think he's grown up. So anyway, so this is the HD. HD, of course, meaning ham dog. That's his nickname, so HD. Anyways, uh, coming into MK1, um, yo-yo runs by Mark, since so the MK part of the MK1. And uh, they make great yo-yos. I think he is a A-tier yo-yo designer. Respect the heck out of him. He make yo-yo tutorials, not yo-yo tutorials, yo-yo design tutorials on how to make a yo-yo. He does workshops. He have YouTube videos explaining how to do the CAD and everything. So definitely go check them out. All right, so first look of the MK1 HD. So first of all, this is Watermelon Fade. This is another meme. Uh, he really likes Watermelon Fade, apparently and uh, his dream come true. So anyways, oh yeah, his ham dog logo here, really nice. Um, so this yo-yo, first of all, just by looking at it, kind of reminds me of a Unparalleled um, Nostalgia, and I did a review on it on my hacked YouTube channel back in the days. I really love that yo-yo. So I actually messaged uh, both Mark and uh, ham dog, Connor himself, uh, and to get the details of this yo-yo, this yo-yo started back in 2022. Now, since I'm never spoiled uh, working with uh, FPM, your friend slash the OEM, um, I didn't know the normal company takes like years to make prototypes and then ready for production. So this actually all the, uh, started all the way back in 2022. So uh, some inspiration of this OEO uh, said by Connor are, I think, See Through Rook, the Skyfish by Yo-Yo Recognition and also the Anthem by Accelerator Yo-Yos. So what he really wants is they started out, their company so from MK1 is usually the Exia and the Brixia. Uh, brass Exia, by the way, so added more weight and stability. So they based off on that shape in the center profile, starting from the middle. And uh, Handa, using those three yo-yos, really want a fast maneuverable yo-yo. So they went with a classic V shape. And uh, taking the design idea from the yo-yo recreation skyfish the signature of Ru ruichi nakamura uh he made the rims slightly edge out so it's like an artificial h shape not coming from the 7060 body but from the rim itself it pops upward a little bit so it's slightly bigger so you can add more room weight on top of it um and also this is using the the L-shaped ring, not L-shaped ring. This is using a wraparound ring, both going vertically and horizontally. So it sits on a 76 yo-yo like this. This started all from Hummingbird back in 2017 by us, um, by your friends, 2017, 2018, the wraparound ring. I really like that design, one of my favorite, um, because it's more durable and it's still extreme rim weight as well. Also, you can see a hub in the middle. The hub is for adding that uh, acceleration, that uh, spin speed of the yo-yo, right? It, it will make the yo-yo a little bit more serrated, um, a little bit faster. You can fit a 10 millimeter axle in it, which it did. Uh, so the yo-yo is more maneuverable. Uh, the width is 47.3, if I remember, around there. And uh, the so decently wide, not really too wide anymore because the meta now is like 50 millimeter. And the 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 diameter is around 55.6 somewhere around there so very average size diameter so very very comp driven you know v-shape huge catch zone because the rim isn't super wide and you get all these nice catch zones in the middle so uh i actually tried this prototype back in 2023 2022 i forgot which year I think that was prototype one or two. And I was like, it's a little bit lacking on power back in the day, so I was talking to Connor himself. And uh, yeah, so he added more center weight. I think at the beginning of the design was like a hub, well, a nub, like a, like a protruding nub. But now it's like a, a protruding hub thing, which adds more 
uh, center weight for acceleration and then added a whole gram for more power and stability. Okay, so spec on the material, I'll have it here. All right, smoothing out the studio. This is one side 10 out of 10, the other side is like 9.8. So it's basically 10 out of 10. Very good job QC by Mark and MK1. Really awesome. All right, power on this studio is very powerful. Uh, this studio is as powerful as the Peregrine X. Uh, you can, I think it might be a little bit more powerful, honestly. I can't really tell. I need to play them back to back more, but uh, this studio will power through whatever combo for a very long time. Those really artificially like added H-shaped ring really does help out. The ring pops out from the body. So you get very, very nice power and it will go on for a very long time. Stability on this is very, very stable. I think this is one of the highlights. One of the two highlights on this is stability. This thing, it's mega stable, right? Pop out ring, L-shaped ring for extreme, uh, weight distribution on the outside and also sunny 68 body the wall is thin i checked it the wall is indeed thin they didn't just use sunny 68 for the memes like some videos and uh yeah very very stable i think it's one of the highlights on the cereal it's stability all right so what is next acceleration so this is another highlight right so this cereal's acceleration is very interesting so because of the center hub in the middle, um, the acceleration is crazy fast. So let's just say this little, I'll, I'll, so this is acceleration curve, right? From a standstill to the highest speed. I would say from a standstill to medium speed, this year it's so fast in acceleration. It's almost as fast as the Euro France Hummingbird. Like that's how fast, right? And the Hummingbird is narrow. It's um, have a giant hub in the middle and it's only 62 grams. And this you know, kind of matches at low to medium speed. So initially, if you go from a standstill, like to immediately change direction, it's su super fast. I think this is the, the biggest highlight on the serial. It's the standstill to medium acceleration. It's out of this world. It's the fastest I've ever seen a yo-yo this size and this weight, right? It's not the fastest ever, but like it's at this side, this way, at this meta thing right now, it's definitely the fastest. And um, acceleration from medium to top speed, it's around, it just falls off a little bit. So it's like it's like medium fast. But I think matter right now, it's changing acceleration from a standstill a lot because you know coming out of hooks and stuff, which I cannot do for the life of me, and other stuff. It's um, really really good for that. So yeah, very very good there. Very great design. Adding that hub in the middle. Okay, so top speed on this yo-yo, it's very, very fast. I would say medium fast. I would say almost as fa I think as fast as a Fison by metal. Yeah, 64 grams. Slightly, the top speed is slightly slower than Peregrine X, but not too shabby. It's super fast. And you can go super fast without having too much trouble. But I think, um, you know, since now the focus on the meta isn't real combo or speed combo or for the TikTok consumer god speed, um, it's not super important on how fast you can do a real combo. So it is justified. The speed is well enough to do any of them anyways. So, okay, so um, possibly flow on the cereal, there's a little bit of flow. I remember Hamdog, not Hamdog, Connor added that center thing along with Mark, I assume. Um, so the cereal can have that more flowy feeling, which it does. And this cereal is pretty balanced. It's not like super cutthroat and like Cop Monster, like the Peregrine Ants. And uh, yeah, it's still pretty fun. There's still flow there is. And uh, yeah, oh my God, I just said a knot. Anyways, I'll figure this out. Anyways, what's next? Float, not that much float. The rim is huge. Uh, there's no quirky acceleration. I don't think Hamdog's playstyle suits that. He's uh, one of the will do exactly what he's doing. Um, you can work along with the AO, but the AO will do stuff for you in most cases. 
uh, which is a good thing. I think that's better for calm because the yo-yo doesn't run you. Like you, you tell you exactly what to do it and we'll do it. Horizontal on this yo-yo is also very, very good. You got the power, stability, those are important, and also uh, speed. So you can hold that horizontal for a long time. Okay, there we go. I want the, you know, maybe a little bit more faster on the acceleration from medium to medium fast, but I'm not that skilled. And watching Ham Dog or Connor, uh, he has no tr problem. So uh, horizontal is very, very good. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so now for buying a stream recommendation, I'm actually having a great time right now with uh, Kitty Normal. Like, normally I want to slip a little bit, but I'm not having any trouble. So I'm gonna say Kitty Normal, first class, to OT Normal, OT Fat, uh, Kitty Fat will be fine. I'm not too sure about XL. If I'm binding pretty well with normal, I don't think XL will work. So I think normal to fat, OT and uh, Kitty will be good. All right, now for all the other stuff. Finger grind, 76 AB blasted body. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, thumb grind. <laughs> Uh, you are touching SS ring, but you still can do them if you have nails. Finger spin, it's pretty average to below average because there's a giant hub in the middle. But it's still be blasted, so you can do it if you have a glove or if your fingers are dry. So, conclusion is here, this is great. Um, I have a super high standards in terms of yoyo because of yoyo friends. We always push in the limit and stuff. Um, and this video really stands up to it, right? Not many yo-yo I say I played like really stands up in my opinion to your friends and this one does. And this just have a very nice uh, center weight. Well not center weight, but like middle weight is like exactly above the axis to make the yo-yo spin and accelerate very fast. And well not super wide, but the catch zone is it's a lot. A lot of catch zone. Uh, like using the SS ring to make it H shape for increased power, very, very brilliant. And also uh, just overall the stability. And one of the highlight is definitely standstill to medium speed acceleration. This thing is crazy in that department, right? So yeah, very, very good yo-yo. If you want like a comp yo-yo that's not 50 millimeter and uh, <laughs> you want a yo-yo that's very, very good at acceleration from medium, uh, from a standstill to medium, and good at horizontal, good at everything, with tons of stability. This is yo-yo, pretty good for you. All right, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.